What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jet, here's some more, let's play the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, well last episode, um, we finished up the Forest Temple. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to start the next dungeon, the Water Temple. Seeing as we already took care of the Fire Temple. And, um, I'm going to actually give further reasoning why. Now let's go check something real quick. Okay, yes. But I knew I did the um, ice cavern, but I just wanted to double check, make sure I actually did have the uh, iron boots. So, all right, so he's dead. Uh, so the reason why when I warped, I just jumped to the empty lake. Give me your stupid quake. Stupid quake. Because we want to go up here. Whoop. But yeah, you can see Lake Hylia is super drained. Like there's. No water in it whatsoever. But up here's a piece of fart. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, nice. I got 13 now. This is gonna be a long fall. And I lost that heart immediately. But yes, we're now set to begin what everyone considers to be the most annoying dungeon in the game. Actually, what people consider to be the hardest uh, game, or the hardest game in the dungeon. Uh, but yeah, it's what people consider to be the hardest dungeon in the series. And it, I want to tell you, it's not hard, it's just very tedious and stupid. That's all it really is. So to get inside, you need to hookshot the crystal thing. Gate will open, and we go inside. And thus, we have entered the Water Temple. Now, what makes this dungeon annoying is the fact, and it was fixed in the 3DS version. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing the 3DS version is because, one, I don't own that version, and two, I'm not like all the rich, fancy people you see who can afford 3DS capture devices. I would like one, because there are some games I want to do, like DS and 3DS, I like. But, it's not going to happen, because I don't have that kind of money. Anyways, though, enough rambling. Uh, this is the only w uh, route we can go, and over here we see... It's Ruto! Oh, you! If I'm right, Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for all these seven years, or long years. But now's not the time to talk about love. What do you mean, love? I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's Domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's Domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me, quickly. And that's the last we see of Ruto. Literally, throw the whole entire dungeon. You never see her ever again. It begs the question because what's up here is actually not that terrifying. Remember that crack, though. That crack will mess you up. Stupid butt cracks. But yes, we have this place right here where we can load a water level, but we're going to come in here first because we have spikes! Or rocks. These things are really annoying. Hey! Listen! Watch out! Bombs and right off the bat, we already have the dungeon map, so we are good to go on stuff. So yes, uh, this little area right here, if we check it, uh, so basically tells you play Zelda slow by. We... 
And for some reason, it fall does not hurt you. Alright. Lit that torch. Lit that torch. And the way forward has been activated. Now we have clams. We've seen these guys throughout the dungeon. And luckily they drop arrows. Now, I believe uh, the water temple is actually supposed to be the ice temple, uh, you know, in the beta, because Awkward Time had quite a bit of interesting little beta stuff. Um, but yeah, I believe the water temple is going to be the ice temple, considering Zora's domain is frozen, and I believe the medallion for his place actually looks like a snowflake, so, neat little thing there. Uh, going into more beta stuff, the one thing that does kind of anger me about um, the Ocarina Time 3D, uh, I want to well, I guess it's essentially a port with uh, updating graphics, but the one thing that does kind of uh, bother me is the fact that, you know, they had the perfect opportunity to do kind of like what uh, Square Enix did uh, with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, where they're taking not only the final mix stuff, but also improving on things, uh, like Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, plays a lot like Kingdom Hearts 2 does, but still playing like the uh, first one did. You know, still had uh, the same basic layout, but changed uh, things to, like, you know, for top people and all that, changed that to triangle. Uh, with the problem I have with Ocarina of Time uh, is essentially, it was support with HD, or not HD, but just support with uh, higher graphics. That was it. They kept it a little too true to the original, and you could have changed a lot of stuff. That kind of goes to know uh, one reason why I don't really like a lot of HD collections. I mean, yeah, you can uh, play older games if they're cool to the butler. Uh, but the fact that you can play older games, but is essentially just, you know, all the games on one disc. Nothing more to it. I always feel like HD collections can, you know, become the perfect version of games. Instead of just, oh, we're just going to take them, update the, uh, some few textures, but HD. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do this. I'm not really gonna cut out the uh, pause screens, cause, uh, first of all, it doesn't really, uh, before I actually continue with that, uh, all those damage just does cool Tula. That, that's the whole entire point of it. But, uh, I really don't have any reason to, uh, cut out the pause screens, because it's literally gonna be like two seconds of the video. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be annoying seeing it over and over and over again, but literally it's only two seconds of the video. So once again, we need to raise the water level. And upon doing that, we can go ahead, and instead of go through the door, go on the iron boots, and sink into the spikes. Oh, I thought I was going to, okay. But well, there's my little Grand tangent thing of uh, HD collections. Don't get me wrong, HD collections are neat because you know you can get uh, people who want to play older games that are probably moderately expensive. They can play them now, but they're also very lazy. Anyways, we're here to talk about Zelda and how awesome Zelda is. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. What are these things actually called? Spike. That's a very original name. Perfect. Now I have these jerks to deal with. Uh, I don't need those spikes. For a second, I was like, why do I have bombs equipped? I completely forgot I needed to use them. It's official. I have the memory of a goldfish. I don't think this chest contains anything of value, but I think, at the same time, I think it does. Uh, yes it does. Okay. You are supposed to come down here. Because I know, uh, like that little area with Skultula, I know there's some uh, areas in dungeons that are like, here's a little collectible, go get that. But 
say that that is one complaint I do have about um, War Table though that everyone else had a complaint with and it was fixed already. Uh, but the fact that you know to constantly switch back and forth. Anyways, <laughs> not gonna be a dead horse. But uh, before going to the left to go get uh, further in dungeon, what's actually over here? I believe this actually takes me somewhere. Ah, yes, okay. Come over here, it has something neat. And here. Place the bomb. Now here, you wanna be like super quick. Like, get up. And you get the compass. Sorry, we have both the things we need. This one's so quick though, you need to be as close to that chest as possible as soon as the, um, the switch activates. But yeah, there's the compass, so... And real quick, if I can find it... This little sucker right here, that's the reason why I didn't do the, or the uh, water temple first, actually. Because um, the way I wanted to do it was going to be... It was either going to be four, or excuse me, fire, water, uh, and then some of the later ones, or water and fire, you know, alternate between the two. But because of that stupid eye switch, and I think there's only... No, there's, there's another one, actually. Uh, that's one of them, but there's another one in particular, because I was actually doing a run of this just to see if I could do it. I did a lot of practice to make sure I could break this game. Um, and there's an eye switch later on that's required, and it sticks you there. I mean, yeah, I could have warped out and all that, but I don't think behind the eye switch of this show was important. No, I think it is, actually. Um, but, I mean, if I was really good, I could have figured out how to do it with, like, uh, minimize the amount of keys I use and all that, but I'm not that good. And I didn't care that much. I wanted to kind of still stay true to showing how the game works, but you know, just do the dungeons out of order. So it's not really breaking the game, it's just... Well, that's sequence breaking. Sequence breaking. But coming in here, what you want to do, before doing anything, stand here, and then run back. There he is. Hello, friend. So, just because I'm too lazy to pull out uh, my arrows. Rise! Rise to the heavens! Now, the reason why you wanted to backtrack is because when you come up here and you, uh, you rise the. Yeah, you raise the water level. I thought they rise the water level. When you raise them up. It's good, it was kind of a doozy trying to go back and lower it and then race back to the second level. Alright, so with all that, we want to go ahead and go in here. Now there's a skull tool on that wall right there. Uh, the item we need to get it is uh, not in our possession yet. So let's go ahead and start hook shining away up here. And it goes well saying, but if you go into that black pit, uh, you just have to restart the room. Aw, oh, dang it. I knew there was a key I missed somewhere. Ah, uh, I knew there was a room I missed. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so back here on the first floor, after lowering the water level, I completely forgot about this. I was remembering a room, but I kept thinking, how do you get to it? You need to push this block. I how long that hallway is. The 
is the prequel to Final Hallway 13. So coming on over here. Do that, so we get to my arrows. Because they're really necessary for what's coming up. Alright, you. Hit the crystal switch, it's going to rise to water. I don't know why I keep saying rise, raise. Now this room, this is where the key is. You need to come over here to do it. Far uh, side of the room, hug the wall, iron boots. Get your... Alright, get your hook shot up. Hit the crystal and the dragon's mouth. Pray that I can actually hit this. Nice. Huh. Ah, you jerks. And give me my key. Alright, so now I need to make the track attack, so I will spare you seeing everything you saw.